Hello guys, welcome to this customization tutorial on Ubuntu 10.10 .10 and above, which is 11.04 and uh, I guess the ones below this. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make Ubuntu look like Windows 7 and before any comments start popping up below on simple questions which were in this video, follow this video carefully and do everything as they do and do not close it when you're supposed to be doing proper things so you won't have issues. So first things first, make sure your computer uh, Ubuntu is updated go to system administration and update manager check whatever needs to be updated and update your computer after that's done go to this link in the description and uh, once you arrive at this page um, this is how the program will make your uh, Ubuntu look like seriously legit and close enough to uh, Windows 7's uh, customization so I'll be teaching you as step by step on how to install this and you must follow this carefully if you won't have problems. If you're a new user, please watch this video carefully. If you are already an advanced user, just download it and install it. So uh, just scroll down and click on download and then uh, it will load you on the download page here but then click on click here here and then it will bring you to mega upload and then once it brings you to uh, mega upload just download it and save it to your downloads which I suggest greatly so once you have it in downloads you should find a file that says Windows 2-7 blah 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 basically right click on it and click on extract here once you extract it you should get a folder like this so uh, open up the folder and you should find something that says GUI install.sh so when you see that just to double check um, if it has permissions just right click on it click on properties and then click on the permissions tab and check around the box here if it's already check mark like mine that's perfectly fine just this is just to double check so you won't have issues so um, just double click on it and I suggest to run it in terminal so click on that and you should have a terminal open I suggest making this uh, maximize if you want to read the codes and whatever pops up and this cl this disclaimer comes up so you'll you'll be getting a lot of windows like these once you're in the installation process so um click on okay and yeah all right just to let everyone know that this method of installing a theme for ubuntu does not make any harm and you can always revert back to your original ubuntu theme by going to the same folder where we opened up the program where it says gui uninstall and just uninstall it so back to this type in your password and the following windows shall pop up like this so just click keep on clicking on ok with these windows that keep popping up click on ok now this will pop up now follow this uh, step correctly so you won't have issues now where it says installed if you extend this out as I did where it says install where it says no check mark that box the ones that say no, go ahead and check mark those boxes. The ones that are yes already, that means they're already uh, installed and it's unnecessary to install it again. So uh, if you want wine, go ahead. And basically that's about it. This process may take long depending on your internet. So um, we'll continue with this by clicking on OK. Once you chose the correct ones, click on OK. This shall pop up. The Windows 27 dash means 2 dash 7 and restricted extras. Just click on yes now it says updating software sources don't worry it'll say fail but that's perfectly fine like that right there and um, what I mean by this uh, Windows Win 27 restricted extras it gives you the same fonts same themes from Windows 7 itself but they're, they were customized and created on Ubuntu legally just to let you know so um, let it continue with this it will be downloading it if you read this and installing it and it will pr probably take about 10-15 minutes depending on your internet as I said when downloading so I'll be back once this is done alright uh, wow that took me a long time uh, about 20 minutes 10 minutes anyways uh, this will pop up on so uh, this one right here just click on yes Hmm. Yeah, just click on yes. And then type in your password right here. Now this will pop up for the installation type. Of course, we're doing a new install under type, so click on OK. This will pop up. I suggest clicking on standard mode. Click on OK. Now choose your computer resolution. If you don't know what it is, go to system, preferences, and 
uh, monitors so this window should pop up on here under here where it says resolution 1440 by 900 choose that if it's a bit bigger um, that's fine so choose your uh, correct resolution resolution click on OK this one right here um, I suggest clicking on no for this step click on no because you already have comp is click on no now this leave it as uh, as it is so click on OK now this one right here um, yeah click on that if you want the Windows 7 super bar OK click on OK and this one OK and leave it as it is OK you can choose what kind of icons you want on your desktop I'm gonna uncheck mark these unless you want them click on OK leave it as it is OK now on this part on uh, the emerald theme um, hmm yeah I think that's good click on OK 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 this one right here uh, just it will give you instructions a script called breadcrumb underscore changer dot sh will be placed on your desktop after installation click on OK click on OK leave it as it is leave this if you want hotmail.com I'm gonna leave it as it is okay just make it look like it's Windows 7 branded but it's not click on OK um true area yeah yeah unless you want a color for your panel um, yeah okay okay this will pop up this is fine okay extracting icon theme now it's the actual installation of the themes what we were doing was getting programs for it to make it look like Windows 7 so this one will go by like a jiffy now as you notice it's restarting the panel and now we'll move them down to the bottom you notice your icons are pretty weird um, it doesn't look like Windows 7 right now but it will be now it is you see that everything's changing so yeah I just it says may take a while on this part and you can take this out then you have the start menu now when you look at the start menu it doesn't have Windows 7 start menu well I'll be that's why I said watch the whole video so you won't have a problem with this this is a uh, normal I will show you how to get the no menu which is perfectly easy let it continue with its installation right here now if you have a dock at the bottom I suggest turning it off and now there there changed the background you have the theme everything is, uh, is transparent this will pop up read the instructions if you want to I'm just gonna click on OK now if you look at the terminal it says installation completed uh, without errors mom says with errors which is fine you know why it says errors because at the top it says fail just for the uh, software sources that's normal and that's just gonna come up because of that so basically click on OK and I will be showing you how to add the GNOME panel and whatnot. So click on OK and it will ask you to log out. I'm just going to click on finish because I'm recording. Click on OK, press enter to close the terminal and there you go. Now to show you step by step, like I said if you have a dock I suggest for you to close it. I'm going to uncheck my other box when it starts up. I'm going to close it. Now just to double check, uh, right click click on change desktop background you can choose uh, the background that comes with it which is of course the Windows 7 background go to visual effects leave it as it is check if everything's cool now you notice you don't have the transparent windows decoration that's perfectly fine so uh, first things first let's uh, start with the start menu uh, right click on this main menu click on remove from the panel right click on the empty spot again click on add to panel and type up here G N O and you should see no menu click on add this window should pop up it, it takes a while to load now this window popped up it says you would you like to restart click on OK reload and you can close this add to panel window and uh, close this no menu settings again right click on this big panel which look pretty ugly right click on it properties this window should pop up under menu go and choose the Windows 7 uh, kind of a theme so let's look for it Windows 7 that's the Windows 7 basic they have the arrow it's turquoise 
Where is it? That's human. They have a bunch of themes that can go with the background. I'm going to choose that one because it looks pretty uh, good. Under button selection, which is the uh, outer appearance of it, I suggest going to Windows 27 Orb, which is that. The icon selection, select Windows Win 7 underscore blah blah blah. Click on OK. It will ask to reload. Click on Yes. Click on Reload. And then the start menu popped up. I uh, organize it by right clicking on it and click on Move move it to the end or put it like this uh, yeah that's pretty good right click lock to panel now you have the super bar but if you want the thumbnail so you can check out what you're looking at like on Windows 7 right click on this uh, certain area for the empty spot click on properties after and then uh, where it goes to the window list tab click on that uh, just to let everyone know this is fully customizable so yeah uh, I suggest uh, clicking on show tooltip which is when you hover over here it shows a tooltip of the program without it you won't know what you're looking at see nothing pops up so check around that box and then under previews which is what I uh, mentioned earlier click check around that box hover over that and you, when you click on that and you look over here it gives a thumbnail the quality isn't that good which is normal but uh, you can increase the preview size so you can be uh, better Click on the group button, you can customize everything to your use. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can, well, it's not working for me, right? Uh, click on appearance, you can choose a theme for each one, but I suggest leaving it at that unless you want something else. It works just like uh, Windows 7 if you have multiple windows open. And let me choose my pictures. Pictures. And then when you hover over it, it gives a uh, aerial peak. So now that we got that done, now you're wondering about the Windows decoration. Uh, it's not transparent. So first things first, once we install the No menu, which we got done already, and we customize the super bar to your use, click on the Start menu and type here Startup. Or just uh, type Start. You should get something that says Startup Applications. Click on that. Click on the Add button once this window pops up and type here Emerald. Then under the command here, type emerald dash dash replace. Alright, you got that done. Copy the command just to, uh, you know, follow what I do. Click on copy, click on add, and then press alt F2 on the keyboard. This should pop up. Right click, paste, click on run. Now you have the see through. But you can customize it if you just don't want it blank by going to the start menu and typing in here emerald. You should see Emerald Theme Manager. The window should pop up. Now just to customize the settings so you won't have issues, you notice when you double click, it goes like that. Well, that's pretty annoying. So go into Emerald Settings once this window pops up. And then when it says Title Bar Double Click Action, click on this and choose Maximum Slash Restore. Maximize Restore. So that's how it works. If you scroll the mouse when you're on it, it should uh, make it like a shading, whatever it does there. Now if you go to theme settings tab back here, you get to choose like Windows-27 black, which makes it black. And uh, yeah, they have a bunch of other themes if you scroll down, and they work perfect. So once we get that done, um, you can choose all sorts of backgrounds. This is pretty much it. You can customize it to your use. It comes with uh, elementary, elementary, whatever uh, program, which uh, makes it like this. Now, uh, if I suggest for you, right click on here and click on menu bar so you can have this up here. Um, basically, everything's like Windows 7 the themes, the icons. If you go to downloads, it makes it similar to it. And yeah. And if you notice that the notification bar it shows down here, this is what it gives for your icons. Now, if you choose a background, the panel will change for with it. Let's say, like my uh, family picture you notice it changes with it. You can customize the theme by right clicking properties and go to background. You can choose a solid color. Let's make it a little bit black. But it's too much so probably blue for me. Okay. You can make transparent or opaque. Or you can choose the original default which is the background image. So everything works perfectly. You can use compass settings by basically using the start menu 
and yeah well by the way once we got, got everything this everything done um, it changes the start menu the lock screen and make sure to log out and log back in so I'm back once I'm done with uh, logging out logging back in all right after you log back uh, log back in and you're in your computer if you're having issues with nothing more than just try restarting this is the imitation of Windows 7 if you have issues it's probably uh, Ubuntu but if you, if you have issues try reinstalling in Ubuntu and check if you installed the installation of the program correctly also um, it changes your boot screen and your login screen also your lock screen when you lock your computer that's basically it thanks for watching and please subscribe